if you're a real drag and drop type graphical person, one of the easiest ways that I find to set a follow up is to just click and drag on a specific date. In the last video we talked, or not the last one, but the one before the last one, we talked about the uh, follow up icons here and setting a reminder or an appointment or something like that in reference to a specific email message. Well, what I'm going to show you how to do now is if you've got, there's a few different ways that we can do this, but if you've got a message that you want to deal with something and you want to put in a little bit more detail, like maybe it's not just a follow up, but you need to have a meeting or there's some type of appointment and you want to write yourself some notes. Here's one way we can do it. I'm going to open up the to do bar and I've got this little calendar right here at the top, right? If you want to go to the next month, click the right arrow to go to the previous month, click the left arrow and you can pick whatever month you want to go, uh, you know, to view to set your appointment. Well, we can take, uh, let's go ahead and pick maybe this one right here. We can click and drag and take that over to a specific date on the calendar. Let's say May 12th, and I'll just let go of the mouse button now. And that opens up this appointment reminder. Let me see if I can resize the window here for you so that you can see everything that we've got. So I could go in here and I could type notes to myself about uh, what I need to talk about or what I need to do. But notice that the entire email gets embedded into this little note also. So you can see whatever the email was about. But then I can set a specific uh, starting time and ending time. Maybe it's going to be a meeting, like it's going to start at 10 o'clock and end at 12. Or maybe it's going to be an all-day event. And in that case, I don't have to worry about the time because maybe it's a seminar or something that I'm going to attend. I can even put things like uh, the location, Tampa, Florida, okay, just to give me a little bit more of a reminder. And speaking of reminders, how soon before this event occurs would you like to be notified? Let's go up here to the top. On the options panel here where it says reminder, I'm going to click the drop down. Since it's an all day event, it defaulted to 18 hours. But I'm going to click the drop down and say I need to know about this three days ahead of time. That will, I believe we selected a Monday, yes, so that will notify me on Friday. It'll remind me on Friday that I've got an all-day event scheduled for Monday. And then if I've got to drive there or maybe i got to fly even, I'll be able to schedule accordingly. While I'm at it, I'm just going to throw this in for kicks. We'll talk about it a little bit more later on. But while I'm at it, I want to show this time not as free but as out of the office. That way, you know, if you're scheduling yourself, then it doesn't really matter. But if you happen to be working uh, in a team and other people will have access to your calendar, this way they're going to know that you're out of the office. So let's go ahead and save and close that. So now on May the 12th, I have a scheduled event. If I was to go to my calendar and let's skip all the way to May 12th. There we go. You've received an answer. OK, this is the uh, subject for that email. Notice that the calendar is in purple on my other dates. It's not. Okay, this just lets me know I've got an all-day event scheduled. The dark purple is the event, and then the lighter purple is the time that it's going to span. And this is all day, so it's covering the entire day. I can double-click on it, and that will bring up the event itself, all the notes and details. Let's go ahead and save and close. And I promised you a couple of ways to do this. So I will also, let's go ahead and let's pick a different one like this one right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to specify no date for the follow up. So maybe I know I need to follow up on this, but I'm not sure when. It has added in my no date section, it has added a task for me. So now I can take and click and drag that task if I want. So maybe I'm going to do a little bit of scheduling and I've got several different uh, you know, things, events that need to be taken care of, and I need to go ahead and schedule those. So I can click and drag from this area as well. And let's go ahead and do this on the 15th. The same thing pops up. I can specify a length of time here uh, where I want it to begin and end, and I can specify a reminder. On the shorter ones like this that are not, you know, an all day event, then it usually defaults to 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and save and close that. Let's throw in another one on 
What did I do? Did I do that on the 15th? I don't remember. Let's see. We'll go ahead and save and close that. So now if I open up my calendar for tomorrow. Yep, I got a couple of things. I got quite a few things scheduled actually for that day. And notice that I messed up and have these scheduled at the same time. And I'm not going to be able to you know, do those at the same time. So let's click and drag. And we will reschedule some of these events so that we've got you know a little bit more flexibility. And it looks like I have got an appointment with the insurance man tomorrow. That is terrible. I better not forget it. So there you have it. Two different ways that we can schedule a specific task or an email for follow-up on a specific date at a specific time. Up next, we're going to deal with finding messages. And we're going to start dealing a little bit more in-depth with email itself.